Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of December 1937, the Nanking Massacre began at the end of the Battle of Nanking, part of the Second Sino Japanese War. Troops from the Imperial Japanese Army captured the city, which at the time was the capital of the Republic of China, and began a six week long series of atrocities against the city's residents. Still a highly contentious historical event, estimates of the number of victims vary from 40,000 to over 300,000 dead. Japanese troops arrived at the city of Nanking on the 9th of December, and despite attempts by a group of foreigners in the city to negotiate a peaceful handover, Chinese Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek ordered that the city be defended to the last man. Meanwhile, Japanese troops were ordered to kill all captives. The Chinese defence of Nanking collapsed on the 12th of December, and the victorious Japanese army entered the following day. According to eyewitness accounts, the next six weeks saw them engage in numerous war crimes, including rape, murder, theft and arson. Captured Chinese troops were the victims of extrajudicial killings by machine gun or by being used for live bayonet practice. Meanwhile, children, the elderly and approximately 20,000 other women of the city were raped, with many killed immediately afterwards. Japanese General Iwani Matsui expressed his regret at the behaviour of his troops just a few days after taking control of Nanking, but the atrocities didn't end until the start of February 1938. At the end of the Second World War, the International Military Tribunal for the Far East convicted just two people for their roles in the massacre.